Proxima Centauri is the star that is closest to our solar system and has long been the center of attention. This dim red dwarf is of great interest to astronomers. Scottish researchers in 1915 identified it as a dwarf star. Astronomer Robert Innes confirmed it as an integral part of the Alpha Centauri system, which includes both Alpha Centauri A and B, despite the fact that it is close. By about 4.24 light years, it is still hard to see with the unblinking eye because of its relatively dim illumination. Nevertheless, Proxima Centauri holds significant scientific value particularly as the host of Proxima b, an exoplanet in the midst of the stars, red dwarfs in the habitable zone. Like Proxima Centauri, are cooler and smaller and have significantly longer lives than stars similar to our sun. Their muted brightness makes them difficult to observe. Because of this quality, their habitable zones are closer to the star. In the case of Proxima Centauri, this translates to a small orbital distance of just 0.05 astronomical units, a ah, small fraction of the distance between the Sun and Earth. This proximity subjects Proxima b to intense stellar activity, including frequent flares and high radiation levels, creating an atmosphere markedly different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b was a remarkable achievement in exoplanet research. Utilizing the radial velocity approach, astronomers observed tiny shifts in Proxima Centauri's position caused by the gravitational pull of the orbiting planet. These oscillations enabled researchers to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period in 2016. The European Southern Observatory officially confirmed that Proxima b exists a significant turning point in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our planetary system, while ground-based observations have provided valuable insights into Proxima b. They are limited by light and atmospheric distortion, which hinders the ability to gather precise information about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Consequently, much of what we know such as its mass orbital distance, stellar characteristics is based on indirect measurements to gain a deeper understanding of Proxima b's environment and its potential for supporting life. Advanced. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are essential. The importance of Proxima Centauri as a gateway to understanding exoplanetary systems cannot be overstated. It is the closest star system to Earth, offering a one-of-a-kind chance to study life-sustaining conditions. Proxima b specifically presents an intriguing prospect a rocky Earth-sized planet with the potential to harbor water and possibly life. However, the challenges posed by its harsh climate make it a complex puzzle for researchers to solve. The James Webb Space Telescope is not merely another astronomical instrument. It represents a revolutionary advancement designed to overcome the limitations of its predecessors and expand the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided significant insights, it is constrained by its emphasis on visible and ultraviolet light. In contrast, JWST is designed to study the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through vast dust clouds and uncover phenomena that Hubble could not see. One of JWST's primary design features is its large primary mirror, spanning 6.5 meters more than twice the size of Hubble's. This larger mirror enables JWST to collect substantially more light, making it capable of observing exceedingly faint and distant objects, coated with a thin layer of gold to boost its infrared reflectivity. The mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments, working in unison to create an extremely sensitive observational platform. Another groundbreaking development is JWST's sunshield which maintains the telescope's instruments at a steady temperature of about minus 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is essential for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates at the second Lagrange point L2, approximately 1.5 million kilometers away.
This location minimizes interference from the heat and light of Earth, enabling continuous observations. The telescope is capable of studying everything from the earliest galaxies to the environments of exoplanets, such as Proxima b infrared detection. It's particularly important because it allows astronomers to examine redshifted phenomena, where light has been stretched to longer wavelengths due to the universe's expansion. JWST is not simply an observational tool. It is designed to answer some of the most fundamental questions in science, such as the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the possible conditions that could support life on other planets. Equipped with cutting-edge instruments like the near-infrared camera IRCAM, the mid-infrared instrument MIRI, and the near-infrared spectrograph IRSpec. JWST is both a time machine and a laboratory a testament to human ingenuity. Proxima B has captivated scientists and the public alike as a potential second Earth, situated within its star's habitable zone. The planet possesses conditions that might allow liquid water an essential component of life as we know it. With a mass about 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima b is most likely a rocky planet similar in composition to our own. Located approximately four light years from Earth, it is an ideal target for studying the possibility of life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima b is far from being Earth's twin. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is constantly illuminated while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This creates extreme temperature differences, but the twilight zone between. The two hemispheres could provide a narrow region with temperate conditions, where liquid water might exist and biological processes could occur. The environmental challenges on Proxima b are significant. Its parent star, Proxima Centauri, is notorious for intense stellar flares and bursts of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation. These energetic events could gradually strip away the planet's atmosphere, exposing its surface to hazardous space weather. To retain an atmosphere under such conditions, Proxima b would likely need a strong magnetic field to shield it from this radiation. Without such protection, the planet's surface would be extremely hostile to known forms of life. Nevertheless, the possibility of life on Proxima b persists. Its position within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist perhaps not on the surface, but in underground reservoirs where conditions are more stable. Such environments could be similar to those of extremophiles on Earth organisms that thrive in extreme conditions such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents. Hydrothermal vents or regions with high radiation, if life exists on Proxima b, it may rely on similar adaptive strategies, radiation resistance, underground habitats, or alternative biochemical pathways. The exploration of Proxima b is more than just a scientific investigation. It represents a philosophical and existential journey. To address one of humanity's most profound questions, are we alone in the universe? This Earth-sized planet residing in the habitable zone of our closest stellar neighbor offers a compelling opportunity to explore this question. Technological advances are steadily improving our ability to observe, analyze, and interpret the signals from such distant worlds. While Proxima b is tantalizing, its environment is fundamentally shaped by the characteristics of its star. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf, is not only smaller and cooler than the sun, but also significantly more active. This means its habitable zone is extremely close. Five cents compared to Earth's one Australian dollar, resulting in the planet's tight orbit and constant exposure to flare activity. These solar flares, far more frequent and forceful than those from our sun, generate streams of high-energy particles that bombard Proxima b without a strong magnetic field. The planet's atmosphere could be stripped over time, leaving it vulnerable to radiation. Even if an atmosphere remains, the intense ultraviolet radiation could disrupt the formation of complex organic molecules, making it difficult for life to arise or endure. Earth does offer examples of organisms that have adapted to high-radiation environments. 
Dinococcus radiodurans, sometimes dubbed the world's toughest bacterium, can repair severe DNA damage. If life exists on Proxima b, it might have evolved similar or even more advanced mechanisms. Its tidal locking might also provide a natural shield. The permanently dark side of the planet could serve as a sanctuary from radiation, while subsurface. Environments like caves or underground oceans could offer additional protection. All of this makes Proxima be an incredibly valuable testbed for astrobiology. Studying its environment could stretch our understanding of habitability beyond Earth-like conditions. It provides a practical framework for testing hypotheses about life's resilience in extreme settings. Its closeness to Earth means we can continue to monitor it using both existing tools like JWST and Next Generation Observatories in Development. The question of whether Proxima b is habitable or even inhabited remains open, but its discovery has already enriched our grasp of the universe. It's one of many exoplanets in a growing catalog of potentially livable worlds. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to deepen this understanding by detecting and analyzing the atmospheres of distant planets with unprecedented sensitivity. JWST spectrometers can identify specific chemical signatures in planetary atmospheres, such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, which may indicate biological processes. Observing these markers will be essential in determining whether a planet could support life and whether life might already be present, while Proxima b has garnered much of the spotlight due to its proximity and conditions. It's not alone. Other exoplanets orbiting sun-like stars, including some found by missions, like TESS, transiting exoplanet survey satellite, are also excellent candidates for further exploration. The more planets we discover in their stars' habitable zones, the clearer it becomes that the universe may be teeming with possibilities for life. These discoveries also underscore a broader challenge. Understanding the interplay of variables that make a planet truly habitable atmospheric composition, stellar activity, geological processes, and more. As our space exploration technologies improve, so does our capacity to directly study planetary surfaces and climates. Future missions may follow in the footsteps of successful Mars rover programs or target the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These projects will help us understand how life might persist in environments far different from Earth. They'll also shape how we explore Earth-like exoplanets such as Proxima b. In the end, the pursuit of life beyond Earth carries profound consequences. For our understanding of ourselves, Proxima b might not be a second Earth, but it shows that habitable environments are not confined to our home planet. The need for continued scientific exploration and technological advancement is clear as we extend our reach into the cosmos. The coming decades promise breakthroughs that could forever alter how we see life and the universe. Whether it's detecting microbial life on Proxima b or discovering a planet more Earth-like in a distant star system, each step brings us closer to answering one of the most essential questions of existence. The exploration of distant stars and their worlds, once the realm of science fiction, is becoming one of humanity's most thrilling scientific frontiers.